Hi, I'm Matt and this is Not Enough Seconds. Today we're talking about Tasker, a new Tasker profile that will allow you to control all the credentials from a cloud, basically. So you have two options of doing this. If you have your own server, whether it's a Raspberry Pi node red server or whether it's uh, some custom server you're running, you can store a single file that you can pull from Tasker containing all the credentials you'll ever need for your Tasker profiles, whether it's a map, APIs, whether it's your username and password, whether it's a secure URL for the HTTP requests. Um, second option, if you don't own any server, which is probably most of you, you can use Google Drive for this. So having an Android phone, I'll assume you have Google Drive and you can do it as well with a Google Drive. And I'll show you how to do it with the Google Drive. And if you know how to do it with the Google Drive, you might as well send a request to your own server and authenticate it according to your needs. So uh, let's uh, probably mention one more thing before we start the tutorial and the showcase itself. This is brilliant because any changes made to this file will reflect on your Tasker. So if you pull the credentials from the same source, whether it's a Tasker, whether it's even Ghost, whether it's a Node Red, uh, then only changes you have to make it's one uh, place. And additional benefit of that is actually sharing the profiles, which is something I do a lot. Uh, I can simply share the profile with any one of you without uh, you know, worrying about storing any personal information there because all you're going to see is just a variable. You're not going to actually see the value of this variable when sharing the profile or project. So those two main benefits of managing credentials this way. So let's get started with showcase and let's get started with tutorial itself. So let's take a look how it works. I've got credential file in here with some uh, basic um, credentials. I have some passwords for HTTP, MQTT, on DNS and Node-RED IP. So when I, they are, these are already set. So when I run this on my um, tasker, it will just post all the values as listed in here. So for, for example, let's make changes. So let's put some changes to uh, home DNS and save the file. And within a few seconds, uh, that's going to be updated. Uh, for this, I'm using just uh, um, Google Sync, which is application uh, available by Google, and it synchronizes the files from my computer to my drive. But also, you can do it directly from the Google Drive opening file, but you're going to need something like any file notepad or the extension that will allow you to modify the text files. So let's go back to that file. And as you can see, if I'm just going to run it now, I'm going to have a new set uh, DNS XXXX DNS.net. So that would update all the variables. So how it works in details. Basically, we just need to create a JSON file. So this is a JSON file. If you don't know how to do the JSON file, there's a tutorial on my website as well. I'm going to link it in the description for you. Um, populate this with a name for your, uh, for your value and the value. So for example, this is MQTT password. We're going to store MQTT password in here, etc. So once you've got this, what we have to do, we have to uh, do a HTTP GET. Now, when you go and upload the file to Google Drive, uh, you have to share it. And if uh, you have to make it shareable and anyone with the link can view this file. So that's the uh, permission there. And you have to grab the file ID. So this is after the ID. Now, before you can actually use the file from here, we need to modify the link itself. So let's say this is our uh, file ID. And this is the link that you have to modify. Uh, it's going to be linked properly in our description of this uh, uh, video. So you, you can uh, just open that article and continue. And this is where obviously it goes. And that's the URL to authenticate the request, the HTTP GET request we're using in Tasker. So let me just open the Tasker back up again. So once we've got this one, uh, this is just stored as a text and I'm storing it locally in the credentials.txt. And later on, I'm just using a JSON read, uh, which basically is gonna ask for all the values uh, uh, that were used for the keys. So I'm going to uh, list all of them in here 
uh, separated by comma. So you can see in fields, got node red IP, then comma uh, home DNS, then comma MQTT user, MQTT password, etc. And uh, I'm loading a JSON file, which is uh, simple object, simple simple mode uh, JSON file, and then obviously in from the local file, which is the credential text. Now, once you've got this, uh, all the um, all the values going to be available in local variables. So these variables will disappear, and you have to reassign them to globals. So um, after loading the uh, variables, I'm deleting the file, so there will be no trace of it. And once everything run, I'm just uh, setting the global variables for each field that I'm interested in. And then later on, I have flash. Obviously, you probably want to get rid of this. And all the variables from now on can be read only in the variable tabs. So you can access them here. So if you secure your tasker with password, which you can do in preferences of the tasker, then no one will be able to access this and there will be no file on your Android because in this task, we also deleted the, uh, deleted the file in here. So there will be no trace of file. Now I'm linking this to an on-boot profile. So each time I've made any chances, uh, changes in my credential JSON, all I have to do is just to restart my phone and it will download all the files and set the variables uh, again. And that way, all the tasks I've got that are using these values uh, will receive new updates to the variables that are linked to it. So this is pretty much it. So before you jump into the comments, I know we're sharing a URL publicly in Google Drive. The risks are quite small, to be honest. No one's going to stumble upon this URL and to guess this URL is going to be quite difficult as well. Just look at the length of the uh, file ID. And uh, obviously, uh, this can uh, be linked to anywhere else. So uh, I've uh, made a tutorial about the event ghost. So take a look at that and uh, you will see how to set global variables in event ghost. So you can use this knowledge you've got in here to pull the um, get request in Python. It's not very, it's not very complicated, but it kind of gives you an idea. Uh, you can do it with uh, Mm, no dread and you can do it obviously with all your tasker devices so i hope you're going to use it uh, let me know what you think about this profile um you're gonna find uh, the entire written tutorial in the description of this video so if you have missed something or you don't want to type in the entire url just click on the tuto tutorial in the article and it'll give you more information there as for now, thanks so much for watching guys, you know how to follow me, you know how to support me. Support options on Patreon are less than a coffee per month, so if you want to buy me a coffee a month, go and check my Patreon. And I'm gonna see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye!